Anyway, I like mushrooms. I like eggs. I like sausages. I like bacon. And this is a nice thing to have in the morning. But these are mushrooms that I love. And I've got the um, bacon and sausages already frying on a very low heat. So that once they're almost done, I'll stick these in because, you know, that's how I like them done. I don't like mushrooms too well done. And I've got my coffee. A coffee this morning, not tea. I like this life, I do. Gives me some freedom. I can write my books. Ugh. I, I think I've always liked camping and this is a step up because you don't have to keep putting the tent out and then pushing yourself into a tent and then <sighs> having to cook outside. <laughs> I know I'm talking about a pea pod tent which I used to have and I cycled around Sicily in one of them. Can't believe it. Now I'm writing my memoir about that. Sausages are grilling away. Well, not grilling, they're frying. Mmm, it's so nice. Such a lovely feeling. <laughs> oh, and that picture I took and I put in the previous video of me lying down. <laughs> now I know how a woman feels once she's had a facelift <laughs> Because when you look at me directly, you can see all the creases and folds. And... <laughs> That's real life, I'm afraid. But there are angles. <laughs> One thing I have noticed about when I look at other van videos, people who are living in their vans, I always see how much space they've got. There's one woman... I can't remember her name, but a solo female, um, solo female um, in a camper van life, and she's an American, but she's got such a whizzy, super duper production of it. It just seems to me as though she's not solo, she is with somebody, and that somebody is doing all the filming and all the editing, and she's got proper stuff, not just the laptop and the mobile phone which is what I'm doing it on but you know it's all like very slick very well done and I hate videos like that because I know that they're onto something they're just there to make the money whereas I like people who are real and they show you the horrible bits of it and they they show you living in a freezing cold and the rain coming through and faults with the van and you know, the life. There's quite a few that I like watching. What's her name? There's one on here that I really do like. She's ever so real. My world, my way. Helen. My world, my way, Helen. <laughs> She's so down to earth and realistic. I love her. <laughs> I love... You know, she has a lot of problems with her neighbour. And it's so sad. You know, she's just a, such a nice woman. She just wants to live her life and look after her ponies. And surely that's not much to ask out of life, is it? She's not like one of these materialistic people. She's such a good woman. No, yeah, thanks, Helen. You know, she sits in her van with her yellow jacket on and she smokes a cigarette. And <laughs> I'm thinking, well done you, you know, you're living your life. And I love her. You know, such a good woman. How many followers has she got? She's got 341 followers. She should have more. But because, you know, she's real, she's living her life, she's not hiding anything. She's not, like, trying to wear makeup and lovely clothes and be in sunshine locations, showing you how to do things. She's just showing you how she lives her life. And that is so nice. It's heartening. It makes you feel 
there are real people out there in the world that you know that are similar to me that are not in it for the fast buck they're just showing you their life basically and she looks after those ponies like they're her babies and they're you know I hope that she's able to find a plot of land where she can find some peace I wish that I could buy my plot of land and let her rent it or live on it whatever you know, if I can buy it outright then she doesn't need to pay for it she could just live on it I wouldn't ask her for any money but In compensation, all I'd ask her for to, to do is to promote my Beely books. Just mention that occasionally. <laughs> because, you know, I love writing. And I love writing for other people. And if people want to hire me to do that, then great. You know, I love doing that. But, you know, it's just part of life and living. And this damp... It's all gone now, thank goodness. But it's uh, a bit of a pain. Because I'm worried about it. I'm going to have to have a look at it tomorrow morning and see if it does the same thing. But there is an air vent down under here. And it is allowing the air into it. But not it's not free-flowing air. And I think I ought to put a little air vent under here somewhere. So that, you know, a bit like that one. There's an air vent there for that heater. For the air to come out of the heater. I'll be going to look at my sausages and my um they're almost done. <laughs> go and have a look. There's two rushes of bacon in that, no. I I put two in. Yes, I did. Let's turn them over. Mm. All over. I'll put the mushrooms in. Oh, right, it's all squishing on there. But put these in. And I'll put my coconut oil in. I like this. This is nice. And all I do is get a little, my big spoon, I think. And that much in. That's all I do. Just that much. What I'll do is I'll take this and put this over here so you can see it when it's... That's mushrooms on there. <laughs> I bought this bag set. It's really very good. It's got loads of... Um, I carry my washing stuff around it. So if I want to go and have a shower on the campsite, I um, grab my bag. I've got two of them down there at the moment. But look at the name of them. <laughs> I mean, why do they call it that? Go next. It reminds me of something else. <laughs> I'll put the egg in now. And there's my egg doing and my mushroom. I need a lid. Why don't they sell frying pans? You know, with lids. I don't know. When I eat that, I'll have... Um, some water with it because I tried the apple juice I had yesterday and it tasted a bit weird. So maybe it's gone past the four days I should have eaten, drunk it. In. Have a look. I like this cloudy apple. There, that's really nice. What's that date on it? Established 1969. What's the date? Uh, Oh, there, on the lid. 14320. So, what's the date today? It's 8. But then it says, usually says, consume within four days of opening. Well, I opened uh, it not yesterday, but the day before, so it shouldn't have gone off by now. A little taste. Mm, it smells. I don't know. really sweet. I don't know why. Uh, while I've been here I haven't been eating any sweets and chocolate. I've just been eating salty stuff. Proteins mainly. Hardly any carbs. 
I'm going to have salmon and rice tonight and if I can set the camera up I'll film that but um, while I've been here I haven't really been eating any cakes I've got a box of plums I've got some kiwi fruit which I should really cut up and put in there shouldn't I that would be nice and tasty <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friend's got a kitchen where <laughs> you walk for miles and miles and miles around the place, back and forth, back and forth. And yeah, you know, while I'm sitting in here, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> in my wand and out here in the warehouse box, which I have my boots in. <laughs> I've got my little stall cupboard <laughs> food. <laughs> what have I got in there? Plums, kiwi fruit, eggs, mushrooms. Oh, and an avocado. Let's see if we can get this. Can you see that? Kiwi fruit it is lovely. And it's nice with this kind of thing. Trouble is, when you uh, cut it, you have to have a tissue handy. I don't quite know how to do this. I have a tissue handy because it is very, very juicy and the juice gets all over your fingers. So make sure they're clean. Drinking coffee and having this, they don't really go very well together. I'm not supposed to. So I'm going to cut that up. And this, you, what you should never do, I never teach you at school this, do they? What you should never do is have fruit after a meal. So whenever you see a fruit salad for after your meal, don't have it. Shall I tell you why? Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because fruit is meant to digest a lot quicker than the rest of your food. So what does that do? If you have fruit after your meal and it's meant to digest and go faster through your digestive system then what happens is that it will sit on top of your food that you've just eaten and that's why you burp and you have hiccups and if you keep on going and feeling a bit nauseous all the time then this is why because you're having fruit after a meal. But if you have it before a meal or with it, that's okay. Because it can mix in, go down through the system, the digestive system really fast and get to the points that it needs to get to quickly. See, that egg is looking really nice, isn't it? And I just do it very low and slow all the time. Don't have to have it on really fast and heated. And just be careful not to touch the egg because I like my runny yolk. And turn that over. See how these have all gone re down really small? No sausages need to be turned over again. Why don't they do beef sausages anymore? That's what I'd like to know. I used to love those beef sausages. Put them in the middle. And then put them round the side. And this is just done in um, a little bit of coconut oil. That's all. Can you see that? I think I turned that over, didn't I? Anyway. And I'm so glad I'm in this van right now. Away from everybody. Uh, you know, there's nobody around me now. And I'm on a campsite, which is good because then I can go and have a shower and not worry about using up any water in here. And um, it's a nice friendly sight. It's quiet as well. And it's Sunday today. And I should be putting up another video about um, beauty therapy. <laughs> oh, to have my life, eh? <laughs> You know, I've got so many books, 
so many books that I really want to write and finish and complete. But it's just finding the time for it all. I love getting up in the morning, having a cup of coffee, looking outside. and I like sitting on the step and listening to the birds. Right now it's raining, pouring down with rain, so it's... Well, I think it's stopped, isn't it? Nothing going on up there. But it's lovely looking at the clouds. Just love looking at the clouds and listening to the birds. Those bloody rooks, though. <laughs> they left little white streaks all over the top of my van and round. I don't know what they've done to the solar panel because I haven't got steps to get up there. I'll have to go to my container and go and get them. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I had to brush it all off yesterday and I'm not even below any trees the trees are far over there right far away from me and there's a, like a big path and a length of the caravan between me and the trees and all the rooks apparently are up in those trees rooks or crows or whatever magpies, it's all magpies yesterday they were nice I did film them and uh and I've just been sat here contemplating things because the beginning of last week was really stressful. It was horrible. I had to meet with personnel, HR as they're called now, human resources. Isn't that horrible? I'm a human resource. I'm a resource for the company to use. I'm not, you know, that's when they, when they changed it from personnel to human resources. I think the heart went out of it. They don't care about people anymore. They just see you, you as a unit, you know, to be used and the amount of energy they can extract from you or skills or experience or whatever. And, um, and this HR, one of the guys, he, he was really nice, quiet. Um, I could see he had a heart. He was really a lovely lad. But the lady... Very matter of fact, I guess that's her job really, very matter of fact, um, didn't want me to record the meeting even though I said to her beforehand I am recording this meeting because of the way I've been burned in the past or I've been treated in the past, I don't trust any of the managers. So uh, she adamantly refused to let me do that and I thought well why because you know when I was working as a PA in media and publishing and um, you know, news television and stuff. They all recorded meetings. Every single meeting was recorded so that we could absolutely get it right what people said. But I mean, he sent me the minutes of those meetings, that meeting that I held last Monday, and this missed out a load of stuff. And thankfully, my friend came with me and he remembers most of what was left out, and, and then I remember some of it. So we're piecing it all together now. And using that as a, just as a base document and then we're putting our stuff in there as well. And I know that I said things that they haven't put in there because I was very emotional about it. And when you're emotional about something, you remember it. When it's just nothing, you forget it. Your brain doesn't have a reason to remember. Whereas if it's affecting your amygdala, which is your alarm system, and then it puts that memory into your hippocampus, which is the memory store. And uh, in your brain, I'm talking about. <laughs> and I was very emotional on certain points, so I do remember these things that I've said. And they missed them out. So, I have to put that right. But this week, since that meeting, I spent a couple of days with Mum. And Gordon and, and then I've spent the rest of the time on my own I do feel I don't know not better but still a bit I don't know not quite with it because I keep thinking of working and I keep thinking of this life and I, I look at all the people around me and I'm thinking they don't know who I am they must probably think I'm the mad woman of <laughs> suburbia 
Oh, the, the woman in the van, the lady in the van. <laughs> Alan Bennett, he wrote that, didn't he? Mm. Anyway, let's see if this is done. Looks like it's done now. Turn that off. I'm running out of gas. They did say that um, if I wanted a gas um, canister here for propane, it's £26. Well, I didn't think that was much to pay. And then when I looked at their canisters compared to mine, mine's really big. And then I looked, they're, they're like half the size of mine. So, this isn't going to go on there, is it, without breaking? <laughs> Get off! Oh, damn it. Never mind. Not very good presentation. <laughs> but it's edible. Oh, my egg's broken. I like my eggs, bunny. There you go, see? Nice. Lovely. Turn this off now.